Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot, and this is your weekly reading for August 16th through 22nd, 2021 for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are new to my channel, welcome in, and if you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Just a reminder, as always, this is a general reading, so not every message, thank you, that comes out will be for everybody. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. This is a kind of an exciting, we've got a lot of planetary energy going on in August of 2021, and this week we have Uranus going into retrograde on the 19th, and it will stay in retrograde all the way till the mid-January of 2022. So you may be feeling the desire to make some significant changes in your life. You may be feeling as though you need to turn inward, think about things on a deeper level, um, reflect upon things in your life. You may also experience a little bit of tension. Uranus will, uh, in retrograde, will be, uh, I believe it's the sixth planet, okay, that is in retrograde for us. We also have the full moon in Aquarius coming up at the very tail end of your reading, the 22nd or 20th third of uh, August, depending on where you are in the world. And Aquarian energy, you know, it's been with us for a while. And it's uh, it started with uh, pretty much the full moon in Aquarius that was on July 23rd. So two uh, two Aquarian full moons coming up in the uh, all in one month. All right, so it's an astrological blue moon, if you will. Okay, so some of you have very little. Re some excuse me, let me try that again. Some of you have been really contemplating some things for quite a while, and uh, this full moon maybe when you um, really make final decisions on things that you've been thinking about doesn't necessarily mean that you're moving away or leaving anything or. Um, and taking physical outward action. This is really about uh, mental and emotional decisions as well. Granted, some of you may be ready to make some other significant change. There's been a lot of people that have uh, really um, blown their lives up in a big way recently. It's just, they are like the creators of their own tower moments. Just boom, everything all at once their relationships, their job, their money, their sense of self, you name it, everything. It's just, nope, everything's got to go. Just clean everything up. So um, the need to be a little bit impartial and objective may be highlighted for you as well in the week ahead because this Aquarian energy can bring in a little bit of rebelliousness and some impulsivity as well. So you may, uh, you may need to rely on your friends a little bit. Okay, um, you know, certainly think about things before you actually take action, right? Sometimes a rash decision, while it may feel great at the time, sometimes uh, we don't always think about the ramifications of things. So um, we may be uh, really just wanting to take that little step back, you know, that, that old thing, if you're having an argument with somebody, count to three before you respond, before you re hit reply to all on an email, and uh, even if someone's royally, royally made you angry, um, it's that, uh, you know, type that, type that email, remove everyone from your, uh, from your distribution list at the top, okay, uh, get the angry email out first without hitting send, and then reread it, delete the whole damn thing and then start over a little bit so that you don't dig yourself into a little bit of a hole. Okay, so we have Archangel Jophiel coming out here first. Jophiel is known as the Holy Liberator, uh, represented by the color yellow. And when we have liberation, this is about freedom from attachment. Um, this is about finding your sense of self, soaring to new heights, um, getting yourself free of anything that has been holding you back, any restrictions. And this is so very much in alignment with the Aquarian energy that's coming in, especially the full moon coming up at the end of the week, because the full moon is where we really can detach from things. And that Aquarian energy, that can really help you be a little bit innovative, find different ways of um, uh, coming to a resolution with things, but it can also help you really detach all right, so uh, some of you are really, really looking to break free of something. We've got peace coming in here as well. So this is about inner peace. The liberation is also spiritual liberation as well, breaking free from tradition, um, from a 
anything that's too restrictive, including anything to do with your beliefs, your spirituality. And, you know, a lot of people think that spirituality cannot uh, live hand in hand with traditional religious structure and uh, and beliefs, let's say, for example, Christianity, right? You know, God and angels and all that kind of thing. And it absolutely can. It can be spirituality is really all encompassing. So you may be really looking to just soar to new heights and be yourself. But peace we've got coming in here as well. Inner peace, enlightenment. There may be a situation with the liberation energy that you are looking to break free from to find your peace. It could be something from your past, from long ago. All right, and you're finally making peace with it, making amends with it. Doesn't mean you're phoning anyone up or anything like that. This is all internal. This is within you so that you can free yourself. You can liberate yourself, right, from anything that has um, really been lingering or festering. And, you know, if you are uh, experiencing a little bit of a spiritual awakening, as we expand our consciousness, we actually quite often find things that we thought we had dealt with when in actual fact... We had just pushed them right to the edge, right to the side. So sometimes when we are um, expanding our consciousness, we do find those things again. And it's like, you know, you may find something, something will pop up and you're like, oh God, you again, I thought I got rid of you, you know, so you may, this may be your chance to really, 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 um, you know, address whatever situation that may be. There may also be an apology, some amends that, uh, that need to come in in the week ahead here. Especially if you have had an argument with somebody and we do have some disruptive energy going on, let's face it. All right, and planets in retrograde, uh, not necessarily good or bad, depending on what you're dealing with in your life. But, you know, but uh, there can certainly be a little bit of topsy-turvy energy going on. So, uh, you know, sometimes you may need to take the high road if you're having an argument with somebody, agree to disagree, uh, make amends, have an apology, wave the white flag, you know, uh, extend an olive branch, perhaps. So whatever that peace means to you, whether that is internal, external, uh, with other people, it's a wonderful, calm energy, as is liberation, actually. All right, so let's see what else we've got. There you go. And we've got the Two of Cups coming out, the Knight of Cups. Why do I think that this came out for someone else exactly like this? Interesting. I'll have to look it up. It was one of the water signs. It was either... I want to say Scorpio or Pisces, maybe. I've done a couple of readings in between, so uh, no coincidence there. But uh, anyway, uh, Knight of Cups, we've got the Emperor. Advice from Spirit, the Queen of Wands. Crowning, we've got the Five of Pentacles. Outcome, the Three of Cups. All right current situation, the heart of the matter. All right. Harmonious partnerships are highlighted for you in the week ahead. Um, you know, like we said, with peace and liberation, right? You may be looking to make some improvements uh, within a relationship, within a situation. Now, yes, the two of cups can uh, absolutely be known as your soulmate energy. All right. Coming into alignment, into partnership with somebody, with another person. All right. And, you know, a genuine offer of love, of uh, friendship even. Um, companionship as well, right? Doesn't necessarily have to be romantic love, right? It's all about that um, emotional connection with another person that is in your life. Now, some of you are calling in a new person. Okay, you may meet, you may be meeting somebody new. Could be someone in your workplace, but it could actually also be someone within your friendship circle. Okay, so you may be meeting somebody new in that regard. But the Two of Cups can also be about you coming into alignment with your higher self. All right, or or exploring that area. All right, the spiritual area, okay, figuring out who you are, asking some deeper, deeper questions, okay, but um, but that Two of Cups really is about that balance, that harmony with all the people that are in your life, and, you know, as I said at the beginning of the reading, if you may be feeling a little bit impulsive or you're going through some things, 
uh, some inner turmoil possibly, you're making some decisions, um, you know, they're your friends, your community are somebody that you can rely on, ask for advice from, or just they're there just to support you with whatever it is that you are contemplating whatever you're thinking about um, any ups downs the good the bad the ugly whatever that happens to be all right so um, for some of you you're dealing with a relationship for some business for some you're just looking to um, make some positive change uh, crossing you okay we've got the knight of cups some of you are waiting for some good news now with the cup energy coming out here this is all about your emotions but this is all about expanding creatively as well. So there may be uh, someone looking for a potential job offer. You may be looking for some good news. Okay, um, you may get it. Okay, but you may not. You may or may not get it um, because there is a there is a five of pentacles that is crowning you. Granted, that's your thoughts, possibilities, and your goals. Uh, so there may be something that you've been working on. Um, to improve because at the moment you may not feel as though um, you have everything that you need. So with the Knight of Cups here, you may be looking to uh, either take a step forward, put yourself out there, um, whether you're looking to find something new or make improvements in your current situation. Okay, um, it feels like uh, for some of you, you may be feeling, hmm, how should we say, you may be procrastinating a little bit. It could be that you're just a little bit uncertain about what you want, about where you stand, about where you want to go in the future, um, especially if you're looking for a new job, okay? You may, hmm, it feels you're looking for a little bit more than money, all right? Money is great. Money is wonderful. And money is a, you know, necessary evil in our lives, right? So, you know, you have it and you want it and all of a sudden you want more and then you want more. It's like, you know, um, uh, it's that, how do I, how do I want to say the more you make, the more you spend sometimes, right? So, you know, it's like, you may look at someone else who lives on half your salary, but they have everything they need and then you're like oh how come I can't get by um you know so there may have been previous success but you may be looking for a little bit of a career change okay possibly to partner up with somebody um in, in regards to your career something that's a little bit more in alignment with what you love to do with the knight of cups yes there could possibly be here that new romance coming in a new friend perhaps okay caring connections uh, coming in for you and they will help you to come into balance to come into um, you know peace and harmony with uh, with yourself and your surroundings so this could be that new friend it could be a new romance coming in it could even be that potential job offer okay that comes in for you um, it feels like you've been kind of uh, hanging in the balance for a while you've been waiting for a while um, if you uh, some of you are how do I want to say? Yeah, some of you have been waiting with bated breath for a while for something new to come in here, especially with this five of pentacles that's crowning you. And because that is an energy of loss, of feeling as though you don't have enough, it's a lack mentality and that is in your thoughts position. Okay, so you may be, uh, you may be kind of giving up hope if you are um, expecting some news. Uh, to come in here, but we do have a three of cups here. So we do actually have some good news coming in. It may or may not be in alignment with exactly what you were expecting. So it may be some good news, a cause for celebration, but it might not be, it might not, uh, how do we want to say, it might not be everything that you were hoping for, but it's still good. Okay. Um, there could also be an apology or even possibly a proposal that is coming in for you guys. Okay. And again, you know, if, um, uh, for some of you, it's just really, really good all the way around. But for others, I think that you may have some lofty expectations and something may just come in that doesn't quite meet that. All right. But with the Knight of Cups, there may also be that need to find some peace. Okay, that liberation energy that is in there, there's, you know, possibly a relationship that is struggling at the moment, and um, you may be thinking of making some change, all right? You may actually be in a situation where you're thinking of letting something go, you're looking to um, 
move on, move forward, something that's a little bit more fulfilling, something that is better for you, whether that is your career path, it could be a relationship, all right, um, because we can't ignore that five of pentacles that's up there, okay, which can represent um, a loss. It can be just the energy of not enough, but it can also be that loss, okay, so someone possibly taking those steps to walk away from something, but it actually causes you some excitement. Okay, um, the emperor is beneath you, your underlying feelings, this is your motivation, this is what's driving you forward, okay? Um, the emperor is that leadership energy, that strong, solid foundation, that great sense of self. Some of you have some very lofty career goals here, okay? It's like, you know what? It's like, you know what? I want to love what I do for a living, but I also want to make some big time money at it. All right, so um, the emperor can possibly sometimes be an entrepreneurial card. So uh, you may have some wonderful creative endeavor. You may have some great skills and talents. And you may actually be doing something on the home front at the moment, some side gigs some side business. And you may be looking for uh, some expansion in that area. You may be looking for an opportunity to turn your hobby into something full time. All right, and with the emperor beneath you, um, you know, beneath it all, you feel like you can be really, really successful at it. But with the five of pentacles that's crowning you, um, you have some doubts about this as well. And it could just be that you don't, you may not necessarily be 100% sure that you can make a living at it that as a sole source of income. Um, or you may be also feeling as though you don't have the financial stability to get it off the ground. But the emperor can also be an advice card. So there may be somebody, um, possibly within a family unit, uh, the emperor can be um, represent like a patriarch, okay, uh, someone that you look up to, someone older, wiser, very successful, someone who typically has some really good advice and is incredibly good in business and developing a plan, developing a strategy. So Either you have the ability to do that yourself or there's somebody that you may be looking to uh, consult with, all right? And this could possibly be somebody that may have some um, financial benefit to you in some way, possibly someone that may be able to give you a little bit of a loan, um, may be able to back you financially because that Two of Cups is a partnership card and it doesn't have to be love, right? It can be partnering up with anybody. So there may be an opportunity there for you to pursue that. You may be a little bit unsure of yourself with that Knight of Cups that's crossing you, all right, and a little bit of uncertainty um, with that Five of Pentacles, okay? So um, there is a need to tap into the um, bold, successful energy that comes with the Emperor, all right? Remember how experienced you are remember what you have to offer and what you have to give okay the five of pentacles is always a little bit of a concern um only because it is a, a lack mentality okay so beneath it all your underlying feelings you're you know you're really got some good motivations but your mind may be really um you maybe have some worries some doubts um, some negative back talk with yourself possibly as well. You may be actually talking yourself out of something and that uh, causes a little bit of delay. Okay. Um, so you may want to, uh, you may want to tap back into that emperor energy, that Aries energy, that fiery energy. Okay. Um, and take a little bit of a risk, put yourself out there. Okay, follow your heart. What do you really want to do? Okay, have a great conversation from your heart, okay? And don't let the don't let the negative talk, okay, come back in. Don't let those worries, those fears, those doubts come back in. All right, because we want to present ourselves from a position of confidence and that emperor energy carries confidence. Okay, because underneath it, you are very confident in your skills and your abilities for whatever it is that you're looking to pursue, 
for whatever it is that you are looking to attract into your life. And so no back talking to yourself, okay? Um, now, some of you could abs absolutely still be reeling from some sort of a loss with that five of pentacles. It could be that you've lost a job, your company may have restructured, but this could actually be very beneficial for you because if you have lost your job, it may have been something that left you feeling a little bit um, restricted anyway, okay? And the emperor, you know, the emperor... While there's a lot of success, a lot of great stability and foundation with that emperor energy, sometimes it can be um, uh, a little bit too structured for you. Um, as far as a job goes, it could have actually been that you were really successful at it, okay, but um, you didn't have fun. Okay, you didn't love necessarily what you do or you kind of lost some emotional connection to it and now you might be looking for something just a little bit more uplifting, a little bit more in alignment with who you are today, okay? Um, so very powerful energy that is really the driving force behind your reading. The Emperor is your only major arcana that is coming out for you, okay? So this uh, this is really highlighted for you, this Aries energy, this fiery energy, and we actually have this energy all around, and it's Leo season, okay? And um, you know, so this is really pushing you forward, helping you um, achieve your goals and your dreams, help you take action, um, help you recover if there is something that hasn't quite gone your way, okay? Because this is that reminder there that, you know what, for every success, there is a whole string of failures, but the failures, you turn them into learning experiences, right? What hasn't gone our way ends up being a stepping stone, a building block to something a little bit better. And that's part of what that emperor always reminds us of. Your advice from spirit. We've got the queen of wands coming for you and uh, well, not coming for you, but the queen of wands coming out here. All right. Believe in yourself. Okay. Spirit wants you to um, really tap into the self-confidence, more, more fire energy. Okay. Um, you have the ability, you have the skills to make it, to do whatever it is that you set yourself out to do. Um, the queen of wands is a very independent spirit. Okay. Um, very passionate, very bold, um, doesn't hesitate to, um, follow goals, follow dreams. There may um, be somebody in your life, again, two, two cards of uh, potential advice, right? The Emperor and the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands quite often represents that best friend, all right? Male or female, it's all about the energy. Somebody who is trustworthy, someone who is understanding, uh, someone who offers a lot of encouragement, okay? Someone that may push you a little bit out of your comfort zone if you're feeling a little bit hesitant, all right. Um, you could be if you're looking for, say, new love, for example. OK, there may be someone that you have met or you are about to meet and your friend. OK, we do a friendship card coming with the three of cups, but your friend may be pushing you out of your comfort zone. And you might be worried that, you know what, I've put out myself out there before. You may have been divorced before, okay, or lost relationships before. And you may not necessarily be thinking that you're ready for a new relationship at the moment, right? Because there's been some big losses in your past there. But your friend, your bestie here may be really pushing you forward and saying, no, you know what, you deserve everything. You deserve it all. You deserve money, success, career, love, friends. You need everything, right? You you deserve everything. So your friend may be really pushing you to get out of that comfort zone to try something a little bit new. Same advice with a job. All right. And, you know, try something a little bit different. All right. Something that may be a little bit more uplifting for you. Your friend uh, you know, your friend, or it could even be a family member, possibly with that queen of wands, okay, um, could be pushing you to ask somebody for some help or for some assistance, right? You know, it's like, it's like, you know what, go to, go to your uncle, you know, go to your uncle, right? He's, you know what, he's always really liked you. He's always encouraged you to follow your dreams. And if you need a little bit of money or a little bit of guidance or, you know, a business plan put together, he'll absolutely help you. All right. And that's, you know, your little best friend there whispering in your ear. Okay. 
but ultimately believe in yourself that you have the confidence, you have the abilities to do whatever it is that you set your mind out to do. And if something isn't going your way, you have the ability with this emperor energy to course correct. Five of Pentacles, we've already touched on this, okay? This is a lack mentality, always a little bit of a concern when it comes up, right? This is in your crowning position, so this is your goals, your thoughts, your possibilities. Are you talking yourself out of something? Is there something that you're not seeing? Quite often, the Five of Pentacles, yes, it can be an, um, uh, an energy of loss, uh, not necessarily total loss, okay? It's like one door closes, but there's another one right here, okay? So there may be a lost opportunity, but there might be something different that you're not quite seeing at the moment, okay? So there is a need to look up. Look beside you, look underneath, right? Expand your um, uh, expand your realm of possibilities, okay? Open your heart, this Knight of Cups that's coming in, right? Trying to expand uh, your consciousness, expand your thought process a little bit, get you out of uh, um, a rut, a pigeonhole, so to speak, right? So, um, you know, so there may still be some opportunity there for you somewhere, even if something hasn't quite gone your way. OK, um, and like I said, the five of pentacles is not necessarily a total loss. It can be feeling OK, feeling or thinking that, you know, oh, there's nothing out here for me or something didn't quite go in my way. Ugh, I wanted the ten of pentacles and someone only offered me a five. Right. If you're looking to, um, you know, further a commitment. OK, with a person or a situation somewhere. All right. The Knight of Cups, there may be an offer coming in here for you, something really very positive. And, you know, but again, um, you know, it could be that you were expecting, you know, the the sun and instead you got the dull old moon. OK, or you're expecting the 10 and you got a five. Right. Um, you know, in a relationship, you may have been expecting, you know, a proposal of marriage and you may instead get a proposal of let's move in together. All right. Still a higher, still a level up and still an opportunity, but not quite what you may have been thinking of. And that may be putting you in that uh, lack mentality. And so there is a need. There's always a need when we do get that five of pentacles to um, look at the silver lining in absolutely everything. Look for alternate possibilities. Look for, um, look under every rock, okay? Because quite often there is something there, but it is also a stubborn energy. It is the energy of reminding you that there is help available for you. There's guidance, there's assistance, okay? There's opportunities available for you, but you may need to ask for help or guidance, and it can be a stubborn energy because it's like, no. I want to do it on my own. Advice from spirit. You may have, you may have someone around you that can give you some very good advice and push you out of your comfort zone. The emperor is another advice card. So there's help available. You just might be a little bit, how shall we say, Capricorn? Stubborn? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all get a little bit stubborn every once in a while in Capricorn. You are very determined, okay, to sometimes do things on your own. But sometimes we do need to let someone in to give us a little bit of help. Your outcome energy. We do have the Three of Cups, so we've got some very good news. This is a wonderful support system. Friends, family, this is quite often a little bit of a happy hour card, right? Something to celebrate, getting together with your friends, jumping for joy. The good news is here. Now that good news can possibly be just be something that you're waiting for. The good news can come in as a result of your actions. All right, the good news can come in in the form of an opportunity that you may have missed, okay? Or something that may come back around again. All right, looking at that silver lining, asking for advice, putting yourself out there, being receptive to opportunities that are headed your way. All right, and embracing the really good celebratory vibes that come in with that three of cups. So out, out with this five of pentacles energy. There's something better on the horizon for you. Okay, and again, it can be by your own actions or it can just be something that you've been waiting for a little bit impatiently.
Okay. Um, something may just be taking a little bit longer to come in for you than you had originally thought, but it's coming. All right. So that is the only challenging card in your read. All right. And you know, like I said, the only major arcana coming out for you is that emperor. So peace, liberate yourself out of that lack mentality. All right. And embrace the wonderful, good vibes and opportunities that are out there for you. I'm sorry if you just heard that weird noise in the background. That is my dog snoring under my, underneath my table. So it is about four o'clock in the morning where I am right now. So she actually should be in her bed, but she wandered out here to where I am. So I'm going to close out your reading with a couple of angel answers. And look at this. We have abundance. Okay. What a difference from that. Embrace the abundance that is flowing towards you out, 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 out with this negative energy. Okay, look at those pentacles shining brightly in the window. These people are not looking at them. This guy kind of sort of, but he's kind of got his head turned away. Okay, embrace the possibilities. Look at the silver lining. If life hands you lemons, what are you going to do? Make your lemonade. Okay, there's abundance flowing towards you. And uh, we don't want to be in a lack mentality. We want to um, manifest from a place of abundance. Always, always, always. Okay. So squash those negative thoughts that you might have there. All right. And step out. Take action. Okay. Look at the bright side. Look at different options. And we also have it's up to you. There you go. Okay. Another advice to remind you that you have everything that you need, everything that it takes to um, achieve your goals, achieve your dreams, put yourself out there, ask for help, get out of your comfort zone, okay? Take action in where it's required and also be welcoming and be open as well. It's all up to you, okay? Beautiful energy. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something in this reading that resonated with you. It may have been a bit or the whole thing, but if there was, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you have a fabulous week. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.